All right, here is the ceiling fan in my room. It is still here and still working fine. And it's always running. It's never turned off. It's only turned off for routine cleaning. This fan is from 2000 and it's from 2002, I do believe, and it followed me here to this house from the old house. All right, on to the next one. Here is the next fan. It is also a Harbor Breeze. This is the smallest one in the house. And it's from 2006. Because when we moved here, there was just a light fixture in here. So we put up a little ceiling fan. And this is the smallest room in the house. And this fan works perfectly. It's hardly ever used. Alright, on to the next one. This is the next fan, a Harbor Breeze as well, in the master bedroom. Got it replaced in Emerson from 1991, original to the house, um, in 2008. And this fan is also rarely used. It's probably the least used fan in the house. Alright, on to the next one. This is the fan in the living room with a Christmas decoration attached to it. There's also a Harbor Breeze. And it too is seldom if ever used. Alright, on to the next one. Here is the new kitchen ceiling fan that replaced the old Emerson that I still have. It's a Harbor Breeze as seen in the video I did on it. Alright, on to the next. Alright, here's the ceiling fan in the addition or the guest bedroom. This one's from 2002. And it is a 52 inch Harbor Breeze. It's actually got six blades on it. And it too is never used. The only thing it's ever used on this is the light kit. See, it's got the older Harbor Breeze uh, pull chain on it. It's actually wrapped around there. And the light kit on this one's loose and it wobbles, but it's never used. Alright, on to the next. And here is the wilted Hampton Bay in the uh, spare room or the den or whatever you want to call this room. And as you see, the blades on it are kind of wilted probably because this room's never used in the summertime and all the heat and humidity has caused the blades to wilt slightly. But it still works. It still makes that scraping noise. Yep. It's always done that since new. And I never did like this fan. And it's a Hampton Bay. One of these days it will get replaced. And there goes the house phone ringing. And for those wondering, here is the old Emerson Northwind out of the kitchen. I figured I'd include this in the video. Like I said, I did keep it. Still works perfectly, but it does need new uh, brackets here as these are starting to crack, as you can see. And that's what happened to two of them. Uh, there's the one that broke completely off. Um, got rid of the blades and the brackets but I kept the motor unit and I plan on finding the parts to replace it, new blades and brackets and this fan will be reused somewhere once again Let's see if I can move it and get a picture of the uh, sticker on top of it or this might not have one on it I don't but from what everyone's told me, it's an Emerson, which I know for a fact the fan that the Harbor Breeze in the master bedroom replaced was an Emerson because when it got taken down, it had a tag on it that said Emerson on it. But this one here has no tag on it anywhere. Uh, that's all that's on it. 60 watt maximum. 
But it's Emerson, nonetheless. All right, on to the other two ceiling fans. Here is the Harbor Breeze indoor outdoor fan outside on the patio with really wilted blades. And as you can see, I can't show too much because I don't want to show my house. But it works somewhat. Kind of makes a squeaking noise and it shakes a lot. And yeah, as you see, the weather is taking its toll on it. <laughs> but it's indoor outdoor. It's the same fan that's in the uh, master bedroom, just the newer model. And here is the Alaska 52 inch fan. There's a good picture of the label because I'm using a better camera to do this video with. Um, the story behind this fan, as many of you have been wanting to know, it was give to me back when this shop was built in 2006. And it did work for a couple years and then it just stopped working. And it has an electrical problem. Um, it is disconnected, as you can see. Right now it does not work. I'm sure it does, but I'm not hooking it back up because, like I said, it has an electrical problem either inside the fan or inside the wires that go to wherever it's getting power from. But my plans for this fan is it's going to hang here for right now. It's been hanging here for 13 years, but uh, the Emerson fan that I previously showed will more than likely be put up in this workshop as I desperately do need some sort of ceiling fan inside the actual shop because it gets hot as could be in here in the summertime and there's no air conditioning in here but as for this fan I don't know what I'll do with it I'm not gonna throw it away I'll probably hang on to it just because it's cool looking and vintage over there in the corner is a old uh, stand fan or pedestal fan or whatever it's called I didn't even know I had that it's buried back there behind that rack I'll we'll get it out one day and see if it works clean it up and all I might make a video on it what do you guys think I don't know what brand it is but it's just hanging out back here <laughs> 